Hi guys, I'm walking down the street where my birth father once walked, once lived, with his wife, Aressa. I believe she was his first wife. This is in Evansville, Indiana. And uh, him and his first wife had nine children. And I don't think he left here until he left her. Uh, so I think all those kids were born here. From what I can track anyway, you know, he's he's a difficult person to track. I've had a hard time with him, but I'm slowly getting information. But this is the street he lived on. They're very old homes. And I was hoping I can see his house. But here's the problem. His address was 1134 Henning Avenue, and this is Henning Avenue. We're at 1124 right now, which is this one. Um, and then the address jumps over to 1130, which is right here. This is 1130. And that one right across the street, right there, right here, is 1133. No, that's 1131. So this one is 1130, the one across the street is 1131. I'm looking for 1134. The one next to the one across the street is 1133. This is the one that's 1133, right here. Sorry, I got, but when you look for 1134 over here, there's an empty lot. So I think his house doesn't exist anymore. But when it did, I think it was in this empty lot, right next to this yellow house. That's why Google Maps didn't actually pinpoint the house and showed me two houses, because it's probably in between this house and this house. Um, because this next house is 1136. And he was 1134, which would have put, put him right here. And I don't know why I keep having this issue trying to find my father's homes, but <clears throat> I mean, at least I'm on the street. Maybe it's just not meant to be. I'm still working on trying to find the house he lived in when he passed away. I've got an historian from Union County um, in Morganfield working on it, but he's not having a lot of luck with trying to find that address. But uh, anyway, I do know for a fact though that my birth father walked these streets and lived here and probably uh, worked here too. So I'm guessing <clears throat> that the house was taken down. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to head out, <clears throat> but I wanted to film the neighborhood here that he was from. So it's this is very old houses all of them are old I mean they look like they were built a hundred years ago or more so I have a feeling nine kids destroyed his house and so they just took it down it's on the corner of Madison Madison and Hunting Avenue see this is the 1200 block he was 13 so that would be over here. This person on the corner really loves her stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's kind of weird to be here to know my father walked around and I'm pretty sure, like I said, see where that tree is? That's where his house was. And the house is gone. So he's next to this one and that tan one. So, it's just an odd feeling to be here. I mean, why did he leave? He had all these kids. He left. So, I'm going to head home now to Kentucky. Talk to you guys later. I just wanted to show you.